Ali. Can I help you? I like a kiss on the lips. I don't, I don't even know you. Relax, man. It's a drink. Oh. Hey, baby, I'd like my new usual and put it on his tab. So, who are you? I'm Roxy Balsam. And you are Miles Lawrence. I know your big brother. What an ass. He was like my son-in-law for like two seconds. That's my kid. She's mine and Vicky Bukes. Yeah, I, I know the family history. Oh, well, then you probably know that her and Johnny Mac are like Squidsville. Well, maybe that's a good thing, because the word on the street is, is that he's panting after this new lady shrink in town. Uh, I think uh, Marty has Sunnybrook Farm or something. <laughs> You, you don't mean Marty Saybrook. Yeah, like you know her? Yeah, she's my wife. I'm really glad that we bumped into each other. Yeah, me too. Actually, I was just thinking about you. Good. Good, because um, I'd like to float something by you. What's up? You want to go out with me? You okay? No. Date. How you doing, son? You all right? You know, you didn't have to do this, Dad. I had everything under control. No, you didn't. Well, the cause did. Why are you here? I'm here to make sure that taking the rap for me is the last stupid thing you ever do. What do you remember, Marty? When Truman was killed, were you here? It's all... What? I was here, but it just something doesn't feel right. Maybe you're right. Maybe I didn't kill Spencer. Everything's fine. What brings you here? That's what I'd like to know. Well, I got your text message to meet you here. What's going on, guy? Huh? Well, I'll let Matthew tell both of you. <clears throat> well, I remember that today is Ken's birthday. That's right, it is. And I didn't think any of us should be alone. Especially you, Miss Rappaport. Oh, come here. You're so thoughtful. Thank you so much. Oh, she was my sister. I really loved her. We all did. Hey, bud. Thanks for including me. Well, I know you guys aren't best buds, but we're Jen's family. Yeah. And it would have made Jen very happy to know that we're remembering her together like this today. We'd never forget her, Lindsay. Never. And, uh, brought this. What is it? Cupcakes, Nigel. Oh, so wow. fancy kind. Wow, she would have loved these. 
You know what? I have sodas in the kitchen, so why don't you come with me and, and we'll set this all up. How about that? I, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How about that son of ours? Oh, uh, yeah. He's something, isn't he? Huh? He's got the best of both of us. <laughs> How'd that happen? Just lucky, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I think we are. Sure. You know, we couldn't ask for a better son. Mm. Well, now that we're bonding so well over our son, I, this might be the perfect time to ask you for a favor. What? Don't give me a hard time for going to Statesville to see Kirk Harmon. I'll never give you up, son. No one will ever know what you did, not by me. Why are you doing this? Because you're my son, and I love you no matter what. Oh, meaning even if you think what I did was wrong, right? I think what you did was wrong, but I can forgive it all as long as it stops now. Yeah. I've seen that look before. Same look you had when you came back from camp in Wyoming. You know, you went away from home, this happy-go-lucky kid. Then you came back and you were... I was changed. I know. I've heard it a million times, and I'm sick of it. Well, I'm sick of what happened. But damn it, Tate, you weren't brought up to think those things. It's not like, it's not just that you were changed. It was like somebody had killed something inside of you. And they replaced it with hate and ignorance. You know, I didn't come here to discuss my beliefs with you. Your beliefs are why I'm here. I never asked you to tell them that you were responsible for the acts of the people. <laughs> Do you really think that attacking people because of their color or their religion or their sexual preference is is the act of the people? One pure people, Dad. I don't just think it. I know it. Oh, so I'm your rebound guy. No. Okay, and no more excuses. You want to go out with me or not? Just say it. You know, Nada, there was a time, not too long ago, that this would have made my day. It would have made my week. I guess the answer's no. Look, it isn't like that. Hey. Okay, it is or it isn't, Vincent. I mean, what, did I make you wait too long? What's going on? Look, Natalie, it isn't like that. If Look, you're going to say that tell... it's not you and it's me... It's neither one of us. Then what? It's someone else. So you're married to Marty Sabra? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I'm very so Marty Sabra. I thought she had the hots for Johnny Mac. Johnny Mac and my wife are work colleagues, okay? That's all. Oh, yeah, like he was with Natty. Like he was with Evangeline Williamson. Well, you know, in thinking about it, I think that our Johnny Mac likes a little office nookie. Not with Marty. Son of a gun. Looks like the green-eyed monsters got you by the shorts. What are you talking about? You. You just got married and you're already jealous. Maybe you weren't even here. No, no, I was here, but... But Spencer, he, he was still alive and... And then I, I was someplace else. Where? It, it's, it's another room, but it's... It's smaller. Where was it? I don't know. What did it look like? There, um... There were beds. No, no, it, it was a bunk bed. Anything else? There, there are clothes, and they're, they're hanging on the wall. They're, they're scrubs. I think they're scrubs. I think I know what you're talking about. Come on. Where are we going? The uh, on-call room for the ICU.
talking about? Yes. Do you remember what happened here? I I was asleep on on that bunk and and I woke up with a a, a headache. I mean, how did I even get in here? This headache. Is there any chance you got knocked in the head somehow? Maybe. You don't think that... Someone knocked you in the head and left you here? It was fun to block out. The question is why. I was with Tate at Rhodey's and... I ran into Rex. Bad? No, it's not like we got into a fight or anything. It was different. Oh. Rex thinks I'm in some kind of danger from the OPP. I can see why. Not you two. Tate's father torched buildings all over town. He killed one of Vincent's guys. He bombed the hospital. He put Vange in a coma. I know. I'm bringing all this stuff to her. Her favorite CDs. Family pictures. Her Nala. I'm hoping that I can get some kind of response out of her from this. I'm so sorry, Leila. I just don't want this to happen to you. It won't. How do you know? You're Hispanic. You can be the next target. They caught Tate's father. He's behind bars. It's over. How do you know Tate's not like his father? I'm nothing like you. And I'm sorry if that disappoints you so much. Promise me the violence will stop. Why should it? Why? It's dangerous, not just to other people, but for you as well. We're in a war, Dad. And in war, there are casualties, aren't there? God. More of your OPP slogans, the, the brainwashed propaganda crap. You'll never understand. No, I won't. I won't ever understand. Well, then why did you take the hit from me, huh? I didn't want you to do it. If I didn't do it, it'd still be going on. And people would still be getting hurt by your hand. I couldn't live with my conscience. Look at the stats, Dad. Look at the crime rates. Look at the welfare rolls. These people are a drain on our society. They are stealing from us. Us? Who's us? Real Americans. Let me tell you about your group. Let me tell you about your friends, your real Americans. They're thugs. They're nothing but criminals who do nothing but hurt innocent people. Me. Dad, you're talking about me. I so why don't you just say it? Listen to me. I'm trying to give you a chance to change, to redeem yourself, to use your God-given talent to do good. I already am. Don't go to Statesville, Mara. I need to. What's the point? A face-to-face -face with that bastard who burned down my house and almost killed us. You're our son, Bo. Our, our son. No, wait, wait. You, you think I don't want to do the same? You had your shot at interrogation. Now it's my turn. I want a shot at him. Hi. How are you doing? How are you doing, guys? Well, we didn't, uh, didn't know that anybody would be here so late. You are just having another remembrance of Jen. Another one? Well, Marcy and I got together a little earlier today with a kid. Yeah. Lindsay, if you have other plans, you don't have to babysit Tommy. Yeah, we can we can take him to dinner with us. Yeah. And what kind of date would that be? Come it, on. No, it's okay, really. No, it's not okay with me. Guys, I can't think of a way I'd like to spend my night any better than being with my little man. <laughs> Someone else. Layla, we've been seeing a lot of each other lately. Oh. Oh, so the two of you are back together? No, not yet, but we may be getting there. <sighs> what? What was that for? Oh. I am the world's biggest loser. No offense to nothing, but that wacko brother of yours, Mitch, he made my life a living hell. I'm 
sorry. Why? You didn't do nothing. You know, I, I'm I'm really nothing like him. <laughs> I think you got one thing in common. What would that be? <laughs> Mitch and Nettie, they met each other, and then five seconds later they got married. I bet it was the same way with you and Marty. So where'd you take your vows of holy acrimony, huh? Matrimony? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know me very well, but I'm going to give you a sense of humor injection. <laughs> um, we were married in Las Vegas. Bingo! Right! Okay, so Natty and Mitch got married there, and that other brother of yours, Walker, mm. Walker, he was big in Vegas. Like he's a big deal anyway. He had a whole setup going on in Atlantic City. Yeah. Yeah. You are one of the Lawrence boys. Don't ever say that again. Someone's very touchy tonight. I never knew my brothers. How can I possibly be anything like them? Okay, fine, maybe you're not. But there is somebody that you're not like, and that's Johnny McBain, because Johnny would never get married in Vegas. No way, no how. And maybe that'll never happen. But if it does, that's going to be one lucky lady. Because that guy is a fox. So you're in the room. You're on the cot. You wake up with this headache. Yes. You remember getting up. I, I didn't know what I should do next, so I, I, I know I was in a lot of pain and my, my head was pounding, so I felt like I was going to be sick. I just, I wanted to get home and I went out to my car. Did you drive home? No. No, I, 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 I got a text message from Cole. He, he said that he was here at the hospital, so I, I came back inside. How long do you think this all took? Why? What are you thinking? While you were out in the car, someone was killing Truman. Do you have any idea who that might be? You think that it's funny <laughs> that I'm a loser? No, 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 I don't. Just that you think you are. Look, Matt, for the first time in your life, you don't have 15 guys chasing after you. You're a jerk. I mean, what was I thinking, asking you out? What you was thinking is that I'm a sexy beast. A beast, anyway. <laughs> so you're lucky not to be going out with men. You know, that's the other thing about you, too. You know, you're just way too smooth. You know, I would say two dates, and you would already be checking for other guys. One. And I would be standing there licking my wounds. So, that's why you turned me down, huh? Just because, you know, you're afraid I was going to dump you? Yeah. You know me so well. God, you're so full of it. <laughs> well, at least I got you to laugh for real this time. Poor Layla. I hope she knows what she's getting herself into. Yeah. You know, the funny thing is, it took these attacks on us to get us back together. See what I'm saying? Do I have a choice? Are you insane? Have you totally lost your mind? On the contrary, I think more clearly than most other people do. You see, pretty soon, we are going to be the minority. And when that happens, what do you think they're going to do to us, huh? Certainly not what you've done. You're wrong, Dad. We've been having this same argument since high school. And ever since then, this country has gotten worse. But you're never going to face reality, are you? So there's really no point in talking about it anymore. Oh, my God. I've thrown my entire life away to help you. And you're helping me. 
Thanks to you, I can continue my work. All right, listen to me. Listen good. If you keep on doing what you're doing while I'm in here, they're not going to be looking for me. They're going to be looking for you. Now you either stop this violence or what? I'm going to tell them everything. I would have given Marty the wedding of her dreams. There was a plane, it was leaving for Vegas, and we thought... And you crazy kids just couldn't keep your mitts off of each other. That's pretty much how it happened. So what are you doing here? I'm buying you drinks. Oh, God. I'm glad somebody is. Really. Why don't you hold up with her? You knew he was. Well, we have wives to leave. Yeah. Well, I don't think that's a good enough excuse. Why'd you marry her? Hey, come on, real deal. Make an offer that she just couldn't refuse. Did you see anything when you came back here? Anybody? I can see myself. And... No, there's there's nobody else here. Sure? Yes. Nothing? Yes, I am sure. I, I, I must have killed Spencer. It must have been me. And how do you explain getting knocked out? We don't know that I did. Well, you didn't come to this room for a nap, did you? Well, you ended up here for a reason. Yeah, maybe that um, Spencer and I, I struggled and... I, I, I must have gotten knocked out somehow, and then when I when I came to here... Still doesn't explain how you ended up in this well, room. You know, obviously I'm blocking it out for some reason. Look, you don't have any blood on your clothing? No. You don't stab someone multiple times and just walk away clean. And why do I remember the scissors? And maybe when you came back in here, you went to Blair's room and you saw Truman there already dead. I had them in my hand. Like, why can't you believe that it was me? It just doesn't add up. You know, my instincts tell me you didn't do it. And I trust that. I think you need to trust it, too. Thank you for remembering, Jen. Well, I'm glad we did it together. So am I. Take it easy, Lindsay. We'll see you soon. Okay. Hi, Tommy. Okay, mm -hmm. hey, bye-bye. Hey, you know, we should probably get going, too, if we make our dinner reservations. Yeah. Would you, you get out of here? No, I promise we won't be late, okay? You don't have to worry about that. I've got you covered. I know you do. Yeah. There's nobody we trust with our son more than you. Thank you for doing this. No, thank you. You don't know how much it means to me to have this little guy in my life. <laughs> Okay, well then, let's go, right? Yeah. All right, honey. Bye, Tommy. Say bye, bye. I love you very much. You'd be good for your godmommy, okay? Bye. It goes for me. Yeah, it goes for your daddy, too. <laughs> bye, daddy. <laughs> bye. 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 Jen knew her mommy loved her. Just like your mommy and daddy love you. You're so lucky to have a wonderful little boy like you. Here they are. None of this makes any sense, okay? I can remember the scissors in my hand. I can see Spencer on top of Blair. You remember that? Yes, clearly. And then I wake up in here and I don't... I don't know how much time I've lost. I, 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 I don't know how to remember. Okay. Take it easy, all right? You know, I think we need to get you checked out. You know, you've had a head injury. You should probably have a CAT scan. I'm fine. We don't even know that anything happened to me. Humor me. All right? I'll set the whole thing up. Okay? John. Yeah? Why are you doing this? Is it because you think somebody else did it, or... Is there another reason? Such as? Miles. Either way, he needs to be stopped. Why wouldn't I marry Marty?
Marty. She's beautiful, smart, kind. Yeah. Just Gaga Google. Gaga Google, huh? I don't know what that means. Gaga Google. Gaga Google. Gaga Google. Me. You mean love? Love is in bloom. Love, love, love. And then all of a sudden, boom! Reality comes and bites you right on the ass, man. One minute you're making whoopee, and the next thing the whoopee cushion is just losing all its air. Bye, bye, love, and fighting all the time about everything, and then all of a sudden sex goes right out the window. Mm. Honeymoon over, and that happens fast. Just yeah, it happens suddenly, and we didn't have time for honeymoon. But, uh, there'll be one. Well, what are you waiting for? So I hope that you understand about Layla and myself. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It's just a timing thing. Good for you and Layla, bad for you and me. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. It could also be that I'm just too good for you. Oh, of course. Too damn good for me. You know, Vincent, you're not so hot when you're patronizing. I'm not trying to patronize you, Natalie. I've told you time and time again that you are amazing. And you know it. And I went and quit my job. Mm-hmm. And you landed a better one. And I knew you had it in you. You always did believe in me. I still do. So what's up? Are we going to be able to make this friends thing happen or what? Do you think we can swing it? If Tate was racist, why would he go into business with an African-American woman and a Latina? I don't know, but I'm the one with the sister in a coma. How could we have let this happen? We didn't know. We should have vetted Tate better. And we still may not have learned this about his father. I just feel like we let this guy into our lives, and now my sister may never wake up. Please don't blame yourself. How can I not? Layla, how could we have known? It's not our fault. And it's not Tate's fault that his father is crazy. Whoever's fault it is, okay? Vange is fighting for her life right now. And I may have lost my sister. You did not lose your sister. She's waiting for you. So you go to the hospital, and you take her her stuff, and you don't give up. Because she would not give up on you. Are you threatening me? I did this to protect you. Not what, just what you did, but what you're going to do. And if you keep doing it, and other people get hurt, I'm in this damn jail for nothing. Well, my beliefs are what I am. And if you can't accept that, that's your problem, isn't it? How does Adriana fit in all this? That's none of your business, is it? I'm actually looking at the face of a true dyed in the wool bigot. And yet, here you are. A throwback. A relic. Well, I want you to look me in the eye so that I can tell you you failed. Because your attacks only made us stronger. You may have destroyed our home, but you haven't destroyed our spirit. There is only one thing that I can't figure out. You're a father. You raised a son. And I refuse to believe that even you could do that without knowing unconditional love. So how could you 
try to take other people's children away from them for any reason, let alone because of the things they were born with. Does difference threaten you that much? Well, I thank God that I'm different from you. And so does your son. What you're doing, what you've done, it's destroying him. Yeah. How ironic. The one person that you've done this for hates you for doing it. What a waste of a life. Was that? Losing my son is the greatest loss of my life. More than you'll ever know. You make me sick. Hey, T. Hi. You all right? I just came from Statesville. You saw your father. Come in. Thanks. I'm leaving, Adriana. I need to go to the hospital to see if my sister's doing any better. She hates me. She's just upset because of her sister. Her sister's in a coma because of my father. Do you have any idea how that makes me feel? I'm so sorry, Tate. You want to be friends? Yes. No. Well, you're going to make me grovel. <laughs> like you would anyway. Is it going to be yes or is it going to be no? I don't know. I guess um, maybe. Maybe I can squeeze you in. But as long as you promise not to let me make a fool of myself ever again. Natalie, you are nobody's fool. It's one of the things I like about you. Yeah, well, you know, it probably wouldn't work anyway. Oh, never. Way too good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I offered Marty marriage, love, support. All the things that you should offer someone you love. Oh, yeah, good luck with that stuff. <laughs> oh, sorry, I've had a dash. Mm. Thanks for the drinks. Mm. And props for swiping Marty out from under Johnny McBain. He's a tough guy for ladies to give up. Okay. I think we got you hooked up with a CAT scan for tonight, but uh, I can't stick around. I gotta take care of some things. You be okay here on your own? Just hope this isn't all for nothing. Let me do my job and we'll get you out of this. Ordering Spencer on my marriage. I think you're going to get the bonus plan. <sighs> Look, I need you to leave my marriage alone. Why? The guy's blackmailing you? You say you don't love him? I'm okay. Really. I'm okay? I don't even know what that means. Why aren't you telling me? Forget it. I'll figure it out for myself. Oh, there must be something in here that'll make you happy. Uh-oh. Bo. <laughs> yeah. Is, uh, is everything all right? Yeah, well, I mean, it, it was. He just started crying and he lost it and I, I there's nothing I can do to calm him down and this has just never happened before. Mm. 
Well, I guess it's a good thing that I came back. I feel terrible for you knowing what your father's done. Having to live with it. Now you either stop this violence or what? Or I'm gonna tell everything. This isn't over. What do you mean? My father's a marked man in prison. I can feel it. We're ready for your casket, Doctor Saybrook. How did you get the head injury? I wish I knew. I really do. <laughs> so I think this friend thing has actually worked. All right. So are we allowed to hug? Oh, well, I have to check the bylaws, but in the meantime, give me some. <laughs> for you now this thing you call a marriage it's over stay tuned for scenes from the next one life to live on the next one life to live you've gotten everything out in the open time i did the same why would you care if david and vicky got together so i think i'll go to bed make room for daddy Claire won't be here and it'll all be over. She does have Todd. I'm bringing him home tonight.